establishment and destruction so the one existence and the one truth which is the omnipresence which is presence even in the atom to the molecule to the planets to the solar systems to the galaxies and infinite galaxies his presence unanimously not dense not rare, not rare as it is and never touch to anything even we can give the example of the space space never touch even he is presence in a stone to water to air or even there is no atmosphere the space is presence my dear friend the ram tatva is the sachidananda and that sachidananda you only know the word sat chit and ananda but nobody can express or describe or define the ram tatva by any language of the universes because when then the language is start when then the maya start the word is the part of the maya so for the satisfaction of your mental state or your intellect the last word is sat chit and ananda sat it means the only truth of this world that is the rama that is the existence chit it means only the consciousness in this world by this consciousness the planets move around the suns i am telling the suns because there is the millions and billions of the suns in the in the galaxies why that consciousness the galaxies 
a revolve in the center of the galaxy. And all the galaxies, they are revolving. They are moving elliptical or round. In which center? That is center power is called Chit. It means the consciousness. The consciousness of the center power of this creation also based on the Rama Tattva, Satchidananda Tattva. So the Rama is defined that the Ramayanti Iti Rama which is omnipresence everywhere and impartial lover and unconditional lover and unconditional conditional giving everything to everyone my dear friend the ananda the third word of the rama tattva it is identify it is defining it is announcing it is giving the message that all the pleasures, all the plays, all the feelings good, they comes from this existence, Rama Tattva. So the Rama is not a man or a woman. The Rama is not a human or, or any living. The Rama is the presence of the existence everywhere in the all galaxies. But he is so loving. Loving like millions of mothers. So he comes. He comes like a human body and he take birth in every Dwapara, the Yuga, at the time of the Rama Navami, so the, it, so the Rama comes in the four forms, Rama, Lakshmana, Bharata and Satrugana. He comes in the four forms. Rama is the existence for millions of the universes and the galaxies, please do not misunderstanding Rama because Rama is your life also. Because he is omnipresence and he is the presence in everybody's body in the form of the life energy. When your life energy is disconnected with your body, the body fall down and become like it. idol of soil and decompose, start to decompose. When the Rama is a presence in your body, your body is not decomposing, your body is ever fresh, beautiful, growing, showing a glory with the consciousness, with the feelings, with the activity between, with all interactions, but when the Rama Tattva is disconnected with your body, you cannot see, you cannot smell, you cannot talk, you cannot walk, you cannot eat, you cannot do anything. Even your particle of the body become decomposed and after some hours your body releasing bad smell. But when the Rama is present, your body is not smelling bad like dead body. So you can imagine that Rama is the center of all the consciousness, all the love, all the creativity, all the showing of your Maya's game. When the Rama is awoken in your heart, at that time, 
you will be awoke and detach all the maya and you will stand in the real, real existing life that is called Atma Jnana. So, and that most precious and topest truth of this world and that is called Rama. And today is the Rama Navami. There is two way of the life. One way you devote yourself in the feet of the Rama because the Rama is the truth and you will not devote your life that automatically your life is devoted because there is only one consciousness that is Rama. There is only the two things in this world. One is consciousness that is called existence that is called God and second is the material that is called Maya. You can see a leaves are floating in the wings and you, you imagine that some bird is flowing on the wing, flying in the wing, uh, wind, but that is our illusion. The leaf has no life, the wind has no life, but the movement of the wind is looking like alive. So you have no life, your body has no life, this world has no life. The rivers has no life, the stones are, have no life, the suns, the moon and the planets and the galaxies, stars, they have no life. But there is only one life, that is the Rama, that is the existence, that is the Satchidananda Paramatma. Only the presence of the Satchidananda Paramatma. You can feel and see this world, otherwise you cannot see, you cannot feel. So there is two ways of the life. If you devote yourself in the path of the Rama, Rama means all the gods. The name is many, many names, Krishna, Rama, Narsimha, many, many names. But if you can devote yourself in the feet of the Rama, then you will be get the grace of the Almighty God Rama and your life will be enlightened and you, you will be get Atma Jnana and you can be free from the illusion of death and birth cycle. But if you do not want to aware, awake or Atma Jnana, there is a the second way for you. You can float in the wind like a leaf. You completely depend on the nature's will. You completely Become a prisoner of the nature, nature want to do and you have to compel to do that things. So, the base person and the great person of this world, they choose the path of the Rama. And when they choose the path of the Rama, they can easily get liberation. And the path of Rama is the meditation of awareness. So I am teaching my disciples the Sakshi meditation of awareness. Because I want to transform it, my disciple into the existence in the supreme stage of the liberation. But and there is a five step of the meditation. One is the Sakshi. If you do the Sakshi meditation four or five months you will be get peacefulness, you will be get pleasantness, you will be get tensionlessness. Then what will be effect of this meditation? Not only this meditation is effective in the spiritual arena, but it is effective in the physical, mental, emotional life also. When you do this meditation and you will get free from all tensions and the peace is coming inside of you, then you will feel that your body is going well, well toned and there is your immune power is going very strong.
be becoming very strong and you cannot caught in the diseases which is comes by the tensions heart attack blood pressure angina diabetes brain hemorrhage and so on organ failures and you are safe and secure by this meditation without adding any medicine if you do this meditation honestly your body will secret the very nice enzymes and hormones and the secretions they can turn up your body without any help of meditation without of any help of doctor assistance and you can save the lot of money by this meditation you will never go in the pathological lab for test for lot of fees of pathology you will not go in the hospitals and lot of fees of the physicians and the surgeons and the ICUs and the apparatus and the oxygen and operation theater and a piece of operation and post operation care, care and pre operation care. Their expenditure will not go by your pocket. That expenditure will be saved and you will become a bell to do person only by this meditation. My dear friend, this is the path of the Rama. This is the meditation of the Rama which is taught by his master Vasishta to Rama. If you do not believe me, you can see in the Yoga Vasishta Maharama Ramayana, the book, epic. My dear friend, the second benefit of this meditation, when you do this meditation continuously, by this meditation, you will free from your all tensions, worries, and you can get a very nice observatory power and ability to see everything which is coming inside of you. By this meditation, you can see the coming, the fear is coming and you can detach from the fear and you have not caught in any phobia. When you see inside any guilt is coming you cannot caught in any guilt or any type of schizophrenia meningenia depression or the madness so as well as the physical hospitals you saving your money you're also saving your money in the mental hospitals prevention you will not go in any mental hospital all your life my dear friend you will get a very good physical health and very good mental health. It is a very, very big achievement of this meditation and very, very good application and applied significance of this meditation. Third thing I want to say, if you will do this meditation, you can become a very good keen seer and then you can see the anger is coming inside of you. You can see the anger. You can detach from anger. You can separate from anger. Anger will come and go and anger will not make any effect on your life. You will not involve in anger and you will not do any crime in the effect of the anger. So your life will become a crimeless life. No police, no judiciary, no lawyers, no pain, no insult. You can save yourself. And the same thing with the lust. The lust is coming. You can see the lust. And you can separate from the lust. You cannot involve in the lust. Then what will be happen? You will not abuse any woman or you will not do any crime against woman. And the women of this society will be safe because you are all doing the meditation of awareness. When the women will do the meditation of awareness, the society will become more glorious and more happy and blossom like a flower. And the same thing in the grid. So that when you can see the grid and you can separate you from the grid, so economic crime will be stopped. You can see what a wonderful meditation I am teaching this world. When the families will become happy, 
by this meditation the society will become very good when the society is the maker of the nations the nations will be become very good then the very nation will become very good then you will see that this earth will become like a heaven there is no any bar no any fighting no any clash so we have no need to the huge establishment of the armies and the defense forces and the defense equipment and the perma and the atomic bombs and nu nu nuclear bombs and hydrogen bombs and the missiles and the warships and the warheads and the tanks and many many smart bombs and many many things so we can save the use of the money we are wasting in vain because we are not doing the meditation of awareness we are not doing the meditation of uh, what lord rama which is which is presence everywhere this meditation is not the meditation of any religion rama is not any religious religious god rama is even living in the every human being which is living with any type of faith because he do, do not know that the god is the universal god is not two my dear friend accept this meditation adopt this meditation and change your life so i have imposed a mission on us the name of mission is world peace by meditation and meditation of awareness i am inviting all of you on the occasion of ram namami please come and join this meditation because the rama is your soul the rama is your consciousness the rama is your existence you can you can impose any name for the god but your language is only up to your sensory organs and the god is beyond all the senses all the mind all the intellect all the ego so god is never come in your limitations or your hypothesis or your imaginations or your created religions the god is universal the love is universal the consciousness is universal the truth is universal and uh, that truth is that there is nothing there is only two one is the god and second is the nature if you want to surrender in the feet of the god you will transform it into the god if you want to not surrender into the god you will be forcefully surrender in the nature you cannot do anything the nature as want as you must do because you cannot stop anything which is coming by the nature in you nobody can stop the tsunami nobody can stop the eruption of volcano nobody can stop the katrina nobody can stop the rain nobody can stop the thunder so how can you stop anything and why are you bifurcating the god god is only one and we are all the brothers and sisters in this world there is no religion there is only one religion that is the awareness in the soul knowing yourself seeing yourself inside standing in the presence of consciousness and separating from unconsciousness and the mesmerism of the maya this there is only one religion that is only one dharma that is only one truth all over the world and other are they are the illusion of the nature illusion of the maya i love you very much i begin giving my blessings and love all brothers sisters of this world this is my message of ram nami thank you very much love you very much